been officially two months I dropped the video. Let me explain why though. So, if you guys didn't know, we recently had Swerve Fest. And at Swerve Fest, you know, it rained like crazy. So it rained for a long period of time and my phone got wet. And that's how I was doing my videos. So because my phone got wet, I couldn't make any new videos. Great. But got a new phone. So here we are now, which I'm using right now. I'm also using the gimbal that I bought from, off of Amazon. Um, I forgot what it's called. I think it's like a Hero 3 or something like that. Mm, I don't remember the name. Oh, the Osmo. Yeah, the Osmo. I'm using the Osmo gimbal. Um, which is pretty awesome. I think it has some other stuff I can do to it too. I, gotta, I need to actually look around at it a little bit more. But hey, guys, what's up? It's been a crazy 2020. Oh, man. We are now in 2021. Our event has passed. Even though it rained, it was a really great turnout. And a lot of people came out and supported. It was it was dope, man. Um, I am going to be uploading the video that Mr. Bam shot up onto our channel right now. I'm pretty much letting it the traffic go to his channel because... I want um, his audience to just make the video continue to grow. And um, it's always good to kind of piggyback off someone's um, audience to help your audience grow. Now, how are you, how you guys doing? Before we even continue, please hit the like button. Also, leave a comment and hit the, hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button and please leave a comment. And if you can share this video, it will greatly be appreciated. Um, so, a couple of rundown on things. The 240 is still um, under construction. I did get the bay painted, though. I'm actually going to show that in a little bit. Um, so, the bay got painted. A uh, couple of things here and there that needs to be fixed with that, which, I'm, gonna, which we're gonna, I'm going to address. I came to the idea the other day that I really want to completely redo the 240. So when I say completely redo, I mean redo the paint, um, get some new moldings, kind of like a restoration. If I could find a, if I can find a crackless dash, then I'll do that. I'm gonna tell y'all a story real quick. I had the opportunity to get a crackless dash at a junkyard. Think about that for a second, for cheap. And because it was late and mosquitoes was eating me up, I didn't get it. Now I regret it completely. <sighs> but it's one of those things you live and you learn, right? Because nowadays you can't even find a 240 at a junkyard at all. So it's, it is what it is. I'm sure I'll, hopefully I'll find another one one day. And um, if hopefully I get, a, get, get able to get parts from it. Cause now I'm trying to do more restoration and it's getting super hard to find certain things on the 240. I'm going to put this video, the next, well, the next couple of videos or the next part of this video is going to be, uh, what I did before with the Lexus GS300, um, fit the wheels, did a couple of things, had to pull the fenders. Um, the wheels are nine and a half plus, sorry, nine and a half negative two and 10 and a half. Sorry, 11 plus 5. Um, I don't remember the tire size off the top of my head. I'm actually going to change to go to a smaller tire because the back wheel, um, it still rubs because the tire is so, because the tire is bigger um, than our, what I ran before. Also, one thing I realized is that whenever you run a tire, make sure you run the same kind of tires because you can run one tire and another tire, different brands, and there will be there will be different sizes, even though it's the same exact specs. I have that issue right now, and it's super annoying. So the next video, the next, the next part of this video is going to be me working on a GS. So let's go ahead and get to it. I've been busting my ass working on this, but um, I had to, well, I kind of, in the other video, well. What? 
it should be somewhere in this earlier on in the video i kind of like gave the gist of what i was trying to do um had to change the ball joint on the lexus because the move ball joint went bad and i had to swap play freaking what's it called wheel of fortune and just swap a whole bunch of wheels around we just need three more consonants and a vowel okay i'd like a b an n and a g and the vowel and O, please okay well looks like you're gonna get a lot of help here category is people who annoy you audience keep quiet please uh well uh 10 seconds mr marsh you know what i mean uh i had to take the wheels off of this i had to take all the wheels off of this i had to take all the wheels off of this and that's why you see me here with a bunch of wheels around me but um pretty much almost done and once it's on the floor probably get a good, a good little like video of what's gonna look like but you can kind of see a little bit right here um see that wheel on the back and um yeah i have to pull his fender a little bit too though i think just a little bit more to make it good so that way if i hit a bump it doesn't scrape right now hmm. I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna put the wheel on, see how it fits first, and then if I think it's good, I'm gonna let it run. If not, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull pull it a little bit more. So yeah, trying to get this done, man. But so far, so good. All right, so boom, the last wheel is on. Move this tire out of the way, right quick. This bad boy. Oh yeah, that fits much better now. I went ahead and pulled it real quick just to get it out of the way. So that way, you know what I mean, it'll already be done. It definitely looks a lot better. I'm gonna have to pull it some more. Like right here maybe. I don't know yet. But um shit. So the wheels didn't really fit. I mean, they did, but the tires ain't fit, I guess. So, yeah. Uh, just driving up the street <laughs> and coming back did that right there. Yeah. Shaved it down pretty good. Not really what I wanted, but it's whatever. Um, the tires are still good. I believe I can still run them, no issues. But I had to roll down right here and right here a little bit more i have to do it to the other side as well but that's the reason that's yeah no bueno but that's part of this shit man it's just you know putting shit on testing to fit it i should have came back and immediately took the tire took the wheels off and see where it was rubbing but i didn't think it was rubbing that bad to scrape all this off that's crazy wow all right let me um, roll the other side and take another spin. So still kind of rubbing right there. Um, I don't really want to pull it, any, pull it anymore, so I just have to maneuver it and try to make sure I don't suck that fender in, but the car is definitely lower. All right. Um, so that was the fitting of the wheels on the GS. As you can see, it came out pretty good. The, it drives better now. I ended up taking the wheels back off because I really want to get smaller tires for it. And I had to move, I had to move the 240 around and 
those are the 240 wheels so in order for me to move the 240 around i had to put the gs the, i had to put those wheels back onto the 240 so that way i can get it to its right spot um i'm actually let me show you guys the 240 real quick Clean my garage the other day, finally. So, here it is, guys. Don't mind the mess. But, um, the bay is painted. Um, a couple little things I have to get addressed here and there, but it has a pearl to it. I don't know if you can see the pearl or not. It has like a pink slash reddish pearl to it. Came out pretty good overall. The paint's is super wet. So with the bay being painted, it's just one more step to get to the next point. And that's putting the motor in. I was talking to my guy at Break Boost Garage, and we were we were going over some things of what needs to get done. Um, the issue is I did not want to bring it there just yet, mainly because I'm going to be taking on another project. Yeah, um, I haven't really told many people about that, but um, it's actually on its way here. Um, should be here next week, it's getting shipped from Cali. I'll talk about that more in another video. But back to your 240. As you can see, bay's painted, that's done. Had to start putting the other things back on, such as the wiper motor, um, I have to put the brake booster on. I don't know if I'm gonna run a brake booster or um, the wheel wood. I'm not sure yet. I, I have to. Have, I still have to decide that. And then put all the trimmings up here back on, and uh, of course put the motor in. It's gonna go somewhere right here, and uh, try to get it running. Now, with that being said, after I get it running, it won't be at shows. It'll literally just be for it to drive because I really want to restore the entire 240. I want to get new moldings. I want to get a new windshield. I want to repaint it, new wheels, the works. That is a plan. Um, so first, I want to thank you guys, my subscribers who have subscribed. Thank you for being loyal to the Swerve channel so far. Please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button if you have not already. If you come on this channel for the first time, Definitely subscribe. It's going to be a crazy ride this year. 2021 is going to be the year that we take this to another level. That's the plan, all right? So definitely hit the like button or hit the subscribe button and share the video, all right? Um, I'll see you guys most likely in the next day or two. I'm going to record another, another video, all right? Um, hopefully you guys had a great weekend. Have a good week and stay safe. Peace.